Didn't the slave master sleep with our mothers and grandmothers? So just because they land in the bed with you, what mm. makes you think that they, that they shed their racism? They don't. White people are racist. All white people are racist. There's no exceptions. We, if right. we're dealing with white people, right. yeah. why would you want one of them after what they've done to us and continue to do? Mm. Because your white girlfriend's still a racist. She still doesn't value black life. All right, fam. So I came across another crazy video for y'all and i haven't reacted to this man in almost over a year okay it's been a year since i reacted to this man he still has the same viewpoints okay he still has the same viewpoints i don't know why his viewpoints is the way it is but just be prepared or prepare yourself for a headache Okay, that's all I got to say. Prepare yourself for a headache. So if you don't got the Advil next to you, go run to Walgreens. Go get you some Advil because I promise you this man will give you a headache with the way that he thinks. Okay? It, seriously. Anyway, so look. This is Dr. Omar Johnson on why dating interracially is a form of self-hatred. We're going to go ahead and get right into the video, man. I ain't going to do it. I'm not going to say too much. Just let's go ahead and get right to the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and y'all know what to do. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. Let me ask you this question, right? To, just to go back to the dating outside your race. Um, you once said that dating interracially is a form of self-hatred. Absolutely. Um, why, do you, why do you believe that? Absolutely. Because why do you want to stare in the face of a member of the people who have committed the greatest human atrocities against your people? These are the people. Is that only specifically to white people, or you, you, do you mean if they date an Asian woman or Indian woman? Is that still the same? Well, I got answer? two answers. If we if right. we dealing with white people, right? Yeah. Why would you want one of them after what they've done to us and continue to do? Mm. Because your white girlfriend's still a racist. She still doesn't value black life. You understand that white man Serena Williams is married to. He don't value black life. You understand that white woman that took a billion dollars from Tyler, uh, not Ty Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Yeah. She don't value black life, right? <laughs> I can give you countless examples of people I've met in therapy who were called the N-word by white husbands and white wives. You understand me? White people who have mm. sex with you. Didn't the slave master sleep with our mothers and grandmothers? So just because they land in the bed with you, what mm. makes you think that they, that they shed their racism? They don't. White people are racist. All white people are racist. There's no exceptions. They might not all be bigots, but they're all racist. Yeah. They all want their people to dominate unfairly the resources, the opportunities, and the privileges of this society. So what Every well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, look, I was trying to let the man cook. I was gonna let him, I was gonna let it finish out because y'all been talking about me pausing too much. Look, I was gonna let the man cook, but let's stop you right there, my brother. How can you sit here and tell me now? If you say, "Oh, there are some white people out here that are racist," okay, I can agree with you on that because I believe there's some black people out here that's racist. I don't believe that all black people are racist. I don't believe that all white people are racist. Okay, and you cannot sit here and tell me that. With a straight face, you can't sit here and tell me, oh, white people are racist. How was that even, bro, how was that even possible? How was it even possible? That's like saying all black people are uh, are killers. All black people are thieves. That, that's like saying that all black people are uneducated. Like, come on now. You cannot sit here and tell me that all black people is this and black people is that because a certain group of black people is this way. Just how a certain group of white people is this way, that doesn't mean that the whole entire white, uh, white race is racist because that's that's bro that's impossible i'm not gonna say it's impossible but it's not true <laughs> i have came across some cool white folks that are not racist i don't know what i don't know what beef you have with the white race i don't know what beef you have because last time i checked you did not live during the slavery times and i hate when people talk about slavery and uh they they live in the past so much that they they miss out on what's ahead of them because of they keep looking behind them. I'm not saying that slavery was not a big thing. Yes, we all should know our history and where we come from and things like that. But one thing I cannot accept is the simple fact that we put it on the white people today. Like as if they put us enslaved. They didn't do it. So why are we so focused on white people today? Okay, I'm just, that's why I'm trying to figure out. Why are we so focused on what, what the white people are doing today? You know what I'm saying? They didn't, they didn't put us in slavery. They didn't do none of that. I'm not saying, like, I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, uh, the white people today are all racist. You're a white girlfriend. She's still a racist. She doesn't value black life. How do you know that? How do you know? Did you have a white girlfriend? Have you ever dated a white girl? Have you ever dated anybody outside your race? I like how you come from, I like how you come for just the white people. You it, it, Interracially means any other race. It doesn't have to be just white people. 
it doesn't have to be just white people. But y'all go watch the rest of this podcast, and I promise you, he's not going to mention about the Asians and everything like that. He's not going to mention about any other race but the white race. The white person. What about the people that just say love is love, right? Who believes love is love? I mean, that's most people's answer. Most when they that talk might about... be most black people. Love, love ain't love for most white folks. White for everything white people do has a political purpose. Mm. Everything white people do has a political purpose. Ain't no love is love with white. Would, would be we be considered racist if we only date within our race? No, that's what you call race loyalty, and you can racism is a group system. Yeah, of exploitation, discrimination, oppression, bias, mm -hmm. where one group seeks to deny all members of another group their fair share of resources, opportunities, and privileges. You know why you can't be a racist? You don't own a damn thing white people need in order to live. <laughs> Mm, true. White people need you for nothing, but you need them. Mm -hmm. Who schools our Who schools our kids go to? Theirs. True. Our money in whose banks? Theirs. Who's building the houses we need to rent and buy? Them. Who's shipping our stuff around the world that we need to order to live? Them. You. Okay, so let me ask you this then: If that's the way that you feel, then what can black people do to become better? What can we do to stand in the places that? the white people are in because I, I truly believe that you work hard in this life to get to where you want. I don't, I don't sit here and feel like, Oh, I can't be here because of my race or because of my skin color. I feel like, you know, I could be in the top CEOs and things like that. I feel like I could be up there as long as I put in the work and effort to get to the point that I want to be at. You know what I'm saying? That's why I truly feel it because there's a lot of black people that are successful. There's a lot of black people that have, uh, uh, what's it call it? Um, their own schools and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But if it's if you feel as if uh white people are we just doing this for the white people or white people have all these things that we need in order to survive and we don't have nothing they need to survive. If you feel like that, then what can black people do to change? What can we truly do to change? I I'm just curious. I'm curious because to me, I feel like everything is everything is in this life is about self. That that's I, I'm a cook. Let me cook real quick. Everything is about self in this life. It doesn't have to do with that person, that person, that person. Everything in this life has to do with you, your thoughts, and the way that you're going to get it. It doesn't matter on what color skin you are. At least to me, I don't feel like it matters on what color skin I am to get to a certain area in my life. I don't look at race so much to figure out, oh, well, I can't get here because I'll be working for the white man, or the white man may do this to me, or the white man may do that. I don't think like that. Like, a lot of y'all that think like that is probably why y'all would never be in no high places in life. Because y'all think so, y'all think so, so wrongly about situations. You don't get a job, you don't get a job, and a white person do. You automatically think, oh, that's racism. How? Oh, I had all the qualifications. That white boy didn't have nothing. So you will automatically assume that, oh, that's racism. What type? How do you know that he didn't have all the qualifications that he needed to get that job? Did you talk to him personally? Say, hey, man, what qual what qualification uh, what qualifications do you have? It, like, come on, let's just be real. Like, I just don't like to keep looking at race and black and white, black and white. That's all we look at. Follow me. Mm. They don't need us for shit. We need them for everything. We are as dependent on white people today as we were when, when slavery ended 157 years ago. Mm. So, In my opinion, mm -hmm. if you talk to an integrationist, if you talk to an integrationist and say, how far have we come since slavery? Oh, we've come very far. We got a black president. Now we got a black vice president. We got a black Supreme Court justice. We got about 10 black billionaires. We got about 100 black millionaires. Ain't shit changing. Because their definition of progress is based exclusively on superficial assets. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Now that's the integrationist. Now you come to me, the nationalist, the Pan-African nationalist. How much progress have we made since slavery? Zero. But Dr. Uma, how can you say that? Black people got master's degrees, doctor degrees, mm -hmm. houses in white neighborhoods. We own our own businesses. We got millionaires. We got tech companies. Here's my question. To what extent are we now in a better position to protect and dictate the lives of our children mm -hmm. today than we was when slavery ended? Let me ask it another way. When slavery ended, we owned one half of 1% of all the wealth in America. Guess how much we own now? The same. One half wow. of 1%.
<laughs> of all the wealth in America. Mm -hmm. What the fuck has changed? Not Nothing anything. at all but the appearance of things. Right. The only thing they did when they ended slavery is change the way it looked. They traded in slavery mm -hmm. Before the 13th Amendment, we were owned by individuals. We was the property of individual slaveholders. After the 13th Amendment, we became property of the government itself. We are. But wouldn't that make us all <laughs> property of the government? Because the because look, he said all white people this. Th this is the topic that he's on. This is what he's on. Okay, me, I'm looking at it like, okay, wouldn't that make us all uh, screwed? We all in America. You know what I'm saying? We all go through these hardships and things that trials and tribulations that happen in this country. We all go through a lot of hell. So I, I, I'm just trying to figure out, like, why do he feel as if it's just black people that's going through this? It's just black people that's stuck. When in reality, it's all of us that's stuck. Mm. So let me, <coughs> still let me, not free. Let me ask you a question because... In other words, if you walk out here right now uh, and a police officer pulls you over uh -huh. and takes your life, God forbid, unjustifiably. Mm -hmm. How was that any better than you being on the plantation picking cotton and the overseer just decides to get off his horse and blow your damn brains out? Mm -hmm. 157 years apart, was there any difference in the power dynamic? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nothing at all. You're right. We are exactly where we were. There's no ramifications. Power. Power. Power is the... Did he just compare you getting pulled over to a police officer? To, uh, okay. I don't think that was a good comparison at all, at all. But measuring stick, y'all. Not education, not income, not billionaires and millionaires. How many black people on TV? Obamas and Kamalas. That's irrelevant. Mm. How much power do we have no. to force white people to leave us the hell alone? And do we have any more now than we had in 1865? I don't see it. Let, but, let, moving. Wait, hold on. Okay. Let me ask a question real quick. Because <laughs> a lot of people say that Obama got in office and he did nothing for black people. Do you think he had the power to do anything when he was president? I want to ask a question before that question. Uh -huh. Do I think he had the power? Yeah. Yes and no. Major changes, mm -hmm. he didn't have the power. Right. Minor changes, he did. Mm. For example, mm. Barack Obama could have got us more black teachers. Barack Obama could have did something about the special education exploitation of our children. Mm. He could have done something about the suspensions and expulsions. He could have fought for better schools mm -hmm. and more black educators because everybody agrees that the schools are a problem. Mm -hmm. do you under everybody agrees that the schools. Obama didn't do nothing about that. You follow me? He could have done something about black homelessness. He didn't. Mm. Now, for the black middle class, he threw them a couple bones and allowed them to buy a house and that kind of shit, if you consider that progress, right? Right. But overall, did he systemically change anything for black people? Not at all. But did he systemically change anything for gay people? Hell yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Hell yeah. But Absolutely. don't you think it's easier for one to do that because of the power that they possess? Because of, you know what I mean? There's white people, Asian people that's in that community. Okay, possibly. But here's my question for you then. Uh, Let's 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 say Obama had no power to change nothing. Let's right. just say that. Mm -hmm. Then why would you vote for him for your presidency? I was I was ignorant right. to how that whole. I'm not gonna lie. He has a valid point. I, I, skip the whole interracial thing and self hatred, whatever the bull crap he said. Forget all that for right now. That's the reason why I did react to the video because of the beginning part of this video, but. However, now we get into politics, you actually have a point. You actually have a point. Because Obama didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing for just black people. Oh, no, he didn't do that for America. What did he do? You know what I'm saying? He probably did one, two, three good things. But out of the time that this man was president twice, what did he do? <laughs> You're right. What did he do? I like that question system worked when, yeah, I, when i first voted i was i just turned 18 you know what i mean mm -hmm. so when as as i'm learning more i realize that it goes through a vote and you need certain seats people right. in these seats right. to, to push bills through he didn't have that even biden now where, where we voted in these seats he's still not doing nothing for black people but you know what the difference is uh -huh. presidents have executive privilege barack obama could have signed executive orders Mm. to do things for black people that he did not do. Remember, Biden gave the Asians an executive order 
before Congress gave him a law. He mm -hmm. gave the Native Americans an executive order before Congress gave them the law. Mm -hmm. you, you follow what I'm saying? Donald I'm Trump saying. gave the Hispanics, the Latinos, an executive order before. You understand? Uh, Obama could have used the power of his pen. And here's my one thing against Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. My one thing. You're right. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to slight him for not changing anything. Mm -hmm. I'm going to slight him for not even trying. Do you see the difference? Definitely. Yeah, you the president of student government at mm -hmm. college. Mm -hmm. You didn't get nothing done. But guess what, brother? I salute you because I saw you fight for me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You didn't get nothing done, but I saw you fight for me. Mm. Every time I turn on the television, Barack Obama talking about homosexuals, like they're the only people in the country. That's all he talked about. Middle class white people, homosexuals, women and immigrants. That's all he cared about. Black people got no attention from him, but that's why the white man put him in there. When Obama was running for office, I'm one of the only scholars of public staff. Did he just say that's why the white man put him in there? Oh my gosh, bro! I don't understand. I don't. I don't get what is the what was so much. Why do people have so much hate towards white folks? I would never understand it. I would. I would never understand it. I get. I get what our ancestors been through. I truly get it. But not to sound disrespectful, I don't know my ancestors. I, I'm. I'm not trying to sound disrespectful. And if you, in an ancestor, if you really think about it. From the beginning, beginning of time. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm not even going to say that. I'm just going to say that I don't know my ancestors, okay? Because in reality, none of us do, okay? None of us know our ancestors. But we hate the white people that are living today because of what they ancestors or pfft, the ancestors that they don't know either did to our ancestors, the ancestors that we don't know. So we're living in 2023 and we're just keep dividing each other. What did Dr. Martin Luther King die for? I'm just curious. What did Jesus die for? Because at the end of the day, I believe, like, when I say what Jesus died for, I know that we're supposed to love one another as we love thy neighbor. But apparently, this man has something so bad against white folks that he keep mentioning them. He felt like the white man put Barack in charge of, or president. I know who put Barack Obama into president uh it's all the black people who voted for him because of the fact that he was black man wasn't fully black but okay but just because he had black in him i'm pretty sure they probably would have voted for trump too uh if they knew that trump was part black <laughs> that's what i'm saying so what what did what do what do the white people have to do with anything with barack obama being a president Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. I will take the criticism if I'm wrong. I'm learning each and every day, but it just doesn't make sense to me. I just feel like that's common sense. I feel like it's a lot of black people that's Democrats. They voted for Barack because, not because of what he can do or anything. He didn't do nothing, but they voted for him because he had a little bit black in him. They thought, oh, man, well, first black president, woo, woo, woo. The man wasn't even fully black. So technically, was he really the first black president? He was the first half black president. <laughs> he was the first half black president. But man, this Dr. Omar has so much against white people that I just don't understand why. Why? Why do you why do you hate these folks so bad? Did, did you go through any experiences that made you have a heart that a hardened heart towards them or something? I'm just trying to figure it out myself, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Thatcher that said when he's done, we're gonna be worse off than we was before he got in there. You go to my old, I did a lecture at Black and Nobel Bookstore in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube. Go watch it. Mm -hmm. People still watch it now. They say, Dr. Umar, everything you said in the Obama, and this is why he was running. Everything you said about him, it has all come to pass. Why? I'm not no genius. But what I do know is every time we get elected officials, the condition of black people gets worse. It never gets better. Mm. The condition of a freaking America gets worse. I don't know why he is so stuck on race. It's killing me, bro. I, I, if he put us as a whole, because I think that's what we are. I mean, I'm not just see. I'm not just looking at what black people are going through. I'm not looking. I'm looking at what everybody is going through. Like, bro, it's a lot of presidents that have been elected, like Biden. Okay, we could talk about Biden. He has been elected, right? He's our president of the United States right now, 2023 currently. What has this man done? We don't know. All I see around the world is America getting worse by the day by the day. All I see is Biden's speeches getting worse and worse day by day. All I see is this man falling, going to sleep, all type of stuff. The man stuck on one paragraph. can't. No, he's stuck on one sentence, can't get through the sentence. 
that's all I see. I I don't see nothing changing, not just in the black community, but in every community. What's really changing? When Trump was the president, because obviously y'all know we're Trump 2024 over here, but when Trump was the president, did, did was Trump the best, greatest president of all time? He wasn't the greatest, best president. He wasn't all top tier, but he for sure was better. He for sure was doing something and was trying to do something in America. But you know, the moment that we get a president that's actually trying to make this world or just trying to make America great again, the moment we get a president like that, that's the moment that everybody start pushing them away. It's like y'all don't want it to be better. Y'all don't want the black community to be better. Y'all don't want no community to be better. Because the moment we had a president that was actually trying to do it, we kicked him to the curve. Kicked him to the curve. Try to get that man impeached how many times? Kicked him to the curve. Now we stuck with a president that don't give a crap about America. Don't give a crap about black people, white people, suspended people. He don't give a crap about his own grandmother, mama. He don't give a crap about nobody. All he doing is trying to get some money. He don't care. And y'all think he do. Come on, man. I'm just being real right now. Rarely do we do better when somebody black gets elected. You don't do think you? he was personally uh, hand selected, especially after the, oh, the whole sure Bush was. situation? Sure yeah. yeah, they selected Barack Obama to make America, the, make the black community in America safe for homosexuality, and they needed him internationally. Went Guinea back pig. Africa support because America needs Africa's resources. Mm -hmm. So he was a stooge and a puppet. He knows it, but he did it willingly. You know, I'm sure he has trouble sleeping at night sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But my point again, if he has no power. And if you claim your vote, see, both things can't be true. Either your vote is important mm -hmm. or Obama should have never been elected because he ain't got the power to do nothing. You see that? You can't have a vote. You can't say my vote means everything to me, mm -hmm. but I'm going to use it on a man who can't do anything for me. Mm -hmm. It can't be both ways. I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't blame Barack Obama. To his credit, he never said he would do nothing for black people. You, do you understand well, you me? Face value. When Jesse Jackson ran for president, 84, 88, he said he would do something for black people. When Al Sharpton ran, he said he would do something for black people. When Barack Obama ran, he made sure he didn't mention black people. Even in his presidential address, he wouldn't even mention Dr. King uh, by name. He just said a, a preacher from uh, Georgia. He wouldn't even say his name. Obama stayed as far away from black issues as possible. So to his credit, he didn't lie to us. We projected onto him mm. this messianic complex that's failed us. Because guess what? You know what? Do you think Joe Biden would have ignored black people? if we didn't let Obama do it for eight years? Do you think Donald Trump would have ignored black people if we didn't let Obama do it for four years, mm. for eight years? You will never get another president's attention anymore because the whole world watched black America catch hell and give Barack Obama a pass for eight years. The worst thing we could have ever done was publicly say it was okay. How do we bring for him to not do nothing and just be black? To build this business with Taylor Brands today, I'm excited. All right. All right, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video. The thoughts, comments that he all said. I got a couple points to say, and I, I pretty much said a lot of my points already. But with the first, with the whole interracial thing, I just feel like I can date who I choose to date. I, if I love a person because they're white, black, whatever, I don't care. That's what I love. So you can't tell me that I'm not pro-black. You can't tell me that I'm not, uh, that I, I'm not... Whatever, I'm racist, whatever you want to say, bro. You can't tell me nothing based off my preference and who I desire, who I choose to date in my life. You know what I'm saying? Because my dating life is not your dating life. You feel me? You, you get what I'm saying? Uh, again, the whole uh, Obama situation, bro, you cannot sit here and tell me that the white man put Obama in office. I, I'm just trying to figure out what does that even mean? Uh, seriously, I'm asking a genuine question. What does the white man putting Obama in office even mean? I, if y'all know what that mean, I please, I am begging. I will take the criticism. If if it sounds stupid, if I don't look, let me know. I ain't the genius. I ain't the smartest. I ain't the smartest bunch in the box. Okay, I'm not. A lot of my videos, I do research on. I, I make sure I know all type of things. I, I'm not. I'm not as smart as y'all may think. You know, I'm smart, but I ain't that smart. So y'all let me know what that post to mean. Obama, white man, Obama, whatever. Y'all let me know what that post to mean, man. Anyways, I love each and every one of y'all, man. I thank y'all for stopping by, dropping by. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, it's me, your boy, the pen. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.